Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again to the Dimapur District Football League. The second match for the day on this third week. This is the home turf for Chumukedima Football Club. They are hosting the away team Kushabil FC who are looking for a win in this tournament. They have led from the front but have been conceding the equalizers. They are coming in this match with a 3-3 draw against, against the Thiliku side. For Kushabil, we have Mulung on jersey number 13 as the goalkeeper, Daniel on 5, Tenson 77, Alam on 3, Nico on 2, Suwami on 6, Robinson on 27, Cleven on 19, Minglu on 11, the player to watch out for, the pacey winger on the right flank. And uh, we have, I beg your pardon, it's Gurung on jersey number 10. Milung will play on, I suppose, the right, right side for the proceedings of this game. And we have Gin Min Tong, number 9, as the striker. Wapong as, will comprise the substitution bench. Kevin, Pong Chai, Kuni Ram, Temsu, Denja, and Moa. For the Chumu FC, we have, as always, James on the wall as the goalkeeper, Tamjin on 4, Maldar on 15, Masita 22, Akiu 34, Paul on 6, Awang, their midfielder, on 8, Kinwi, another midfielder, on 10, who will play as the right, right wing forward, Sinlo as the left wing forward on 11, Lima, their striker, on 7, and Chaba, jersey number 30. The substitution bench will have Vilato, Zumzum, Zum, Wati, Moa, Kilo, Meren, and Trong Lee on jersey number 17. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a big shout out to our sponsors for this league, Okusa Toyota Dimapur. This league is powered by MH Cosme Hub, and the media partners are Hornbill TV Nagaland. They are broadcasting all matches live on your, your digital platforms. We have the co-sponsors as Kaki Turf, Nagaland Fitness House, Case Constructions, and Bistro 29. We thank you to all the spectators that have joined in this match. We are looking for an eventful game. This should be mouth-watering as both teams have really pulled up their socks. And we'll look for nothing less than a win as the referee for today. Mr. VOK is with his counterpart Kekishe as the assistant referee and the game to begin in few seconds ladies and gentlemen Here we go, it's game on here at the Chumakirima Chumakirima public ground as Kinwi tries to hold the ball. Here is Alam. And Lima is checked by Minglu, the captain six. Suwami. Now Kushabil boys in yellow and Chumu is always in their home colors. The beige color, I would say, here is Awang. We'll look to control the midfield. We have some good midfielders in this game today. Of course, the right wing forwards as well. Now 30. 
Ladies and gentlemen, the, the results for the match today earlier that was played in in Dipubar B Wolves. The Wolves playing it hard and giving some tough time to their opponents, but in the end they lose out 2-1. So 2-1 to the Purna Bazaar Football Club earlier during the day. Now we have a game on our hands. It's 27. It's still 27. The player Robinson. Now 9-9 nine, nine will get the shot, but it's blocked away. Here's Lima. Lima to the left wing forward. Now here the boys, the home team come as Lima is in the middle. Here is 11. 11 looks for... Was he looking for Lima or was he taking a shot? Not quite sure. The play to resume. Man in yellow back again. Now 9. Win Min Tang is the player. Now 19. Cleven. Cleven is looking for Win Min Tang. And they will get the throw in. Gurung with the throw, I suppose. Yes, and Awang will slash it away. Now Kushabil with the throw, they will keep the ball as they come forward in quite good numbers is Gurung. Gurung playing an absolute, a good game in the last match. Here is Minglu, Minglu not able to get the control over the ball. Now the ball is towards the left flank and Chumu boys will keep the ball somehow. This is 22. Masita. Here is a shout for Masita and he will release it. And it's cleared away now Lima. Lima comes forward. Lima the captain, number seven, the striker. Here's 11. That is a very poor shot. Sinlo, he can do much better than that. So the scorecard is not troubled with that kind of shot. And the keeper. Mulung will also not be very bothered with that kind of shot. Now the goal kick is taken low. Here's 27. And 27, it's quite clumsy for 27. But the referee will blow the whistle for the jersey number three. As the referee just have a little bit of chit chat in this sunny afternoon in Chumukirima public ground. The men and boys will look to get something on this ball. We have we have six shirts, white shirts in just at the edge of the box, looking to make the run. Here is Awang. And that will go for a corner. Well, along with his sweet left foot, trying to curl the ball away, and keeper thought that might be going in, so he got the touch. Here's Awang. Now 10. 10 mistimes the ball. And keeper says thank you very much. Kusha will come. Now, this is a good throw for the keeper. Number six, the captain is dispossessed. Soami, now 15. Maldar. Maldar lunges the ball forward.
Gurung. Now Kushia Bill looking to switch play, but no problems for Chumu. Chumu, the last time they played, winning the match. Now Lima makes the run. Here is Lima for Chumu. It's still Lima. And this possessed by 30. Chaba. Oh, what a goal for Mr. Chaba. Wow, wow, wow. Can you believe it? What an angle. Taking the M at the far post. And this is an absolute stunner. And the man in yellow, including the keeper, is just stunned with what we have witnessed. So it's game on, ladies and gentlemen. It's 1-0 to Chumukirima FC. And the player to get his name on the scorecard is none other than Mr. Chaba. All right, that goal came from nowhere, and we will see if that is if that goal can be one of the goals in the goals of the week. We'll come to that later. Here is the man in. The boys in white. Here is three. Well, Kusha Bill will look to give a sort of reply because they are also a team which is quite good with the ball going forward as Captain retrieves to find the lost ball. Captain looking for his teammate and uh, Lima will intercept it. Mulung is fighting for the ball. Here is nine. 77. Tenson. Ball for Chaba. And this time Chaba will be on the ground. The ball is still in play. As Kusha Bill looks to build from the back. Three. Minglu. Minglu to 27. Robinson. Harris, Re Harris Robinson for the Kusha Bill boys. And Robinson, that is not the good. Not a good cross, he will know better. The, the midfielder for the Kusha Bill is brought down by none other than their playmaker, Mr. Awang. Well, Awang is looking to make an impact because of his inferi inferiority uh, uh, in terms of the height, but he has a good foot. Now Robinson again, Robinson will keep the ball. Robinson is back to Minglu. Can Minglu get the good delivery? He somewhat does, but it's clipped away by their defense. This will only produce a throw in. Lima. Referee says, yes, that's a slight push, and we'll get the set piece. <laughs> so it's the, it's the home team that has 
got the early lead today and the second game of the Dimapur District Football League. It's 1-0 to the, to the home team. They will know for sure that 1-0 is, is a good lead but might not be enough. The team in yellow come forward. A lot of shouting in the box, but no problems. Here is nine. It's still nine. He plays on the line. Here is Ming Lu. That's a good return ball. And it's Robinson. What can Robinson do from here? Robinson turning away from his marker. It's still Robinson. It is still Robinson. Here is three. 19. 19 neatly done. And Awang cannot bring him down. That's a good ball for Guru. Yeah! It is the goal. The goal for Kusha Bill. Like we said, ladies and gentlemen, the player, Mr. Guru, he is the player to watch out for. In the last game, he created havoc, havoc for his opponent. And they were quite unlucky to not get the winner. And ladies and gentlemen, we have a game on our hands and the goal scorer is none other than Mr. Guru. So 1-1. One, one. Well, if you have just tuned in right now, the scoreline is 1-1 for all you spectators both on and off the field across the Hornbill TV channels, across the digital platforms. You can download on your phones as well and watch the highlights as well. Well, the flag stepped down. The flag stepped down and... Lima! Oh my word, Lima! What have you done? The captain, he will be disappointed with himself. They could have got the lead. The flag never came up and it will never come up. But this time it will only come up for a goal kick. What a wasted opportunity for the home team. But here we go again. Boys in yellow, a little bit of... Lack of concentration by the defense department, not reading the line. Now it is a good flick, but that's an offside. <laughs> Here's James. James to his right back. And Chumu will look to extend. I beg your pardon. Take the lead again. Here is Lima. Now 10. That's a good foot by 10. That's a good looking ball. But referee, uh, beg your pardon, the goalkeeper will see the ball go out of play. Well, the home team could have been 2-1 up and 
in the past two or three minutes. Three. Three dispossessed by ten. Lima with a touch to ten again. Ten with a very good touch. Is playing as though any any Brazilian player would have played. And that is a good right foot cross by Awang. And Chumu should keep the throw in. Keeper will collect eventually, Mr. Mulum. Here is Robin. Good fit by the man in yellow, playing in some flair and some style. Here is here is Ming Lu. Now Robinson, still Robinson, back to the captain. And captain tried to turn away from Awang, and Awang had other ideas. Ten. Mm, captain just apologizing to his teammate Minglu for giving away the ball in that fashion. A throw into the team that will want to take the lead with the home support. Lima. Lima will keep. Captain gets the touch. And the referee says, no, Captain, that's a high boot. So, here is Awang on the set piece again, as always. Awang with the ball in the middle. Plenty of yellow and white shirts. The acrobatic Yay! shot from Mr. Chaba, the goal scorer. Had that gone in, Ronaldo would have been proud of you, my boy. But it's still 1-1 one, one and all to play for as we approach the... 15 to 20 minutes mark here is Gurung. Now nine. Ball will be still, Captain Plain, no, has uh, gone out for Chumu. Chaba. And that is a goal. Goal, goal, goal for none other than Mr. Chaba yet again. He has his name on the scorecard and Chumukirima FC pulls it back and takes the lead once again. Ladies and gentlemen, the scoreline is 2-1-2. Two, two. Chumukirima FC! The player with a brace is Chaba with jersey number 3-0. That's the defense of Kushia Bell. A little disorganized at the moment. We'll look to pull up the socks as they got away with a goal earlier in this game. So Kusha Bill once again to try and find the equalizer. Well, they have enough enough firepower in their team to do so. They just have to get their feet working together. Eleven. Keepers there to collect. Looking for Lima, but it is Robinson on the ball. Three. Captain.
Here's Chaba, goal scorer. Keeper will come out of his line. Can Chaba? Oh. <laughs> well. Referee just having a chit chat as Chava is brought down in rather an unusual fashion with a knock from the number 19, Mr. Clevin. So a bit of a muzzle power in the midfield department as both teams looks to dominate the midfield for this match. And Chaba will be all right, I, I believe. He scored two goals for his team already. Will be eyeing for a, a hat trick, and that will be some sort of a personal accolade in terms of the stats and the figures that we have for this league. And as a player himself, he's been asked by the referee to come out of the pitch and come back in after a while. Now the boys in Chumu, boys from Chumu, prepares to take this shot as the wall is being set by about four players, including the captain. And this looks like the the player will take the direct shot, but no problems there. Minglu, Minglu will keep the throw in. Twenty-two, six. Back to the centre back, Maldar. Maldars to Aku. Aku, Sinlo. Here is Sinlo. Sinlo, now three. Alam. Free kick yet again, from rather. A similar position just a while ago and this time it will be the left footer left footed Awang he will look to deliver the ball in the box we have about close to four players from Chumu to get any sort of connection but he goes for the direct shot and this time both the free kicks in this similar position as has not troubled the goalkeeper. This will only be a goal kick. Three. Good check by Chaba, goal scorer. Still Chaba. Nicely done by Chaba. He will get the throw in. In that process, also, I don't think that's. I don't think they would like to waste a few seconds. As of now, we still have plenty of time in this game. As Sinlo walks towards the ball to take the throw in. Lima lips it and keeper will get the free kick. Minglu. Still Minglu. Well done, Minglu. Robinson in the middle. Now 19. 19 with the switch to Gurung. 19 will get it back. Cleven. Lima, Awang, Awang with the outside of his boot, but will not have any problems. And Awang tugs the player. The ball is played forward to Gurung. I beg your pardon, that's number nine. 
Win Min Tang. And this is the player Gurung that will take the throw in. Throw in taken quickly. Cliven. Still Cliven. And Lima goes to the ground. Now Kushabil Boy is building this game patiently, waiting for the equalizer, but this possess here is Chaba, always hungry for goals. Body faints, gets away from his marker. Sinlo. Sinlo is crowded by the man in yellow. Now Sin Sinlo shot has no connection. Now here's Gurung. Gurung to his beloved captain. Cleven looking for Robinson. That is a very good ball for Robinson. It's still Robinson. Robinson shoots and it is the second goal. Can you believe it, ladies and gentlemen? As I was saying, Kushabil boys are building this game patiently. And you know, patience is a virtue. And this will give you the result. What a comeback. What a comeback by the man in yellow. And the goal is scored by none other than Mr. Win Min Tong. So ladies and gentlemen, as we approach the closing stages of the first proceedings of the game, it's the home team that has given the lead once again. It's 2-2. What a match to see. Four goals already. Oh, that is a wonderful, delightful one-touch football as Minglu. That's a good ball again. Minglu still with the ball. Minglu is appealing. And Minglu will get the card for his rather unusual way of approaching the referee. And Captain is just having a chit chat with the ref, Mr. V. Okay. Wow. What a match, ladies and gentlemen. If you have just joined us, th there's no time to blink. If you see your phones, you are missing the goal. If you want to check the highlights, go to Hornbill TV app. Watch the, uh, watch the channel on YouTube. It's 2-2, two -two. number 11. Sinlo comes forward, takes the shot. Oh! Had that ball been on target, the keeper would have been in, in action. It's 2-2. Two -two. What a tight contest. What a mouth-watering clash. Here at the Chumukirima public ground. Here is 77, Tenson will look to give a lot of tension to his opponent. Here is 9, now Gurung. Gurung comes forward, Robinson is asking the ball, will it reach Robinson? No. Midfielder Cliven, Minglu, Minglu with the switch. Robinson with a good right foot looking to twist and turn, twist and turn and will get the no, yes, no, yes, yes, they will get the corner kick. Corner kick to the team that has come from behind twice in this game already. Now can they take the lead is the question because they are a team like Chumu, they 
Also give away leads, but now here is Robinson. The header comes in. It's still Robinson. Robinson moves away from his marker. It's still Robinson. Robinson with a good... Oh, what a save. Robinson is... It's fair to say Robinson is terrorizing the defense of the home team, Chumu, at the moment. Now, captain will deliver the ball into the box where we have about five now six yellow shirts in the middle Cleven Cleven with the shot but he will be disappointed with himself well he had all the time in the world to get the shot on target but looking to take it the first time so a good wave of attack from the right flank has come to a halt with that shot this is the player nicodin looking for 10 oh 10 should keep the ball nope Now another cross comes in, Chaba, but is being well marked. Now Awang. Might not necessarily have the height as the other players, but very quick with his feet to move and create all sort of problems. Here is Chaba. Can Chaba come up with something? And Chaba's arm has touched the ball. Therefore, this is going to be a goal kick. A bigger part, um, it will be a set piece. Robinson gets the ball, but it's it's outside the pitch. Throw into the man in white. Oh, had Chaba got the connection. That could have spelled trouble. Now Gurung. Gurung will get the free kick. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a substitutions in place. Jersey number four, Moa will replace jersey number two, Nico. The refs, we have a little bit of time left in this game. Can we see a goal before the first half whistle is blown? Here is Awang. Awang has been quiet, but he will look to make an impact as he passes the ball backwards to his defense. Awang. And Awang will get the set piece as Robinson just say hello Awang from behind. Awang with the delivery and keeper should come.
The keeper taking a bad knock, clashes with Lima. Let's hope he's not too serious. And he's back up on his feet. Well, that's... Now team in yellow, now Gurung. Here is nine, it's still nine. Win Min Tang, Win Min Tang with the cross. Win Min Tang will keep the ball, here is Gurung. Gurung plays it backwards. Now the delivery can come. But James is there for the ball to be collected and lunges the ball forward and there is the whistle for the first half to this game. Nothing in this world to separate both the sides as we have seen some goal mount action. Two goals each. So the score line is 2-2 two -two to the team in, in both white and yellow. So a lot of, a lot of team talk to be Scoreline at the halftime whistle is two each to both the teams as they will look to take the lead. The referee, Mr. VOK, at the center of the proceedings, just making sure everything is in place to kick off the game for what's remaining in this game. So it will be the team in yellow to get us underway for the second half. The big shout out to our sponsors, Okusa Toyota. This is powered by MH Cosme Hub. The co sponsors, Kaki Turf, Nagaland, Fitness House, Case Constructions, Bistro 29 Cafe, and our media partners is Hornbill TV. A big shout out to all the camera person who have been regularly broadcasting the matches and here we go once again. We will we will be hopeful that we see goals in the second half as well as Gurung now is playing at the midfield position. Captain. Captain Kushabil Robinson has changed his position. Now it's Gurung. Gurung and Robinson combining quite well, but not this time. As the ball is slashed wide out. James will keep the ball. Ball at the center now, captain. Captain to Cleven. Ten. 
Kiên Quý Here is Ming Lu There is Gurung Gurung with the chest control but just not getting his shot Lima Lima did well Lima will be dispossessed Here is 4 Here is Chaba And captain has come to dispossess him yet again. Good ball. Robinson, Robinson played the ball in the center, but Lima is there for the interception. Well, the referee is just explaining the players for what we just saw in the match as the ball will be in the corner post with this is a corner kick to the home team it is 2-2 in the day there is warm lovely afternoon here at Chumukedima public ground Here's 27, Robinson, Cliven, Ming Lu. Ming Lu plays a good ball forward. It's nine, it's still nine. That's a big six. Is the shot coming? Here is six, nine. Here is Ming Lu. Menglo with a very good turn. Robinson is still Robinson. Um, this is a corner kick. Cross comes in. That is a good effort by the captain, but just not getting a shot on target. It, it, it flew past the goalkeeper in the post. So it's a team in yellow with the, with the wave of attack against the home team, Kusheville FC, gaining some momentum in the second half as they look to take the lead. Remember, they have come from behind twice. Well, of course, Chumu will also look to take the lead for sure. Now the whistle will go. It is a very even, evenly contested match. Awang on the free kick. Here is Awang, the number eight, the midfielder. At the delivery, keeper will punch it away and the defender will help him clear it as Minglu takes the touch. Here is the captain. They're looking to break open and uh, Minglu should get it. Chase ball. Free kick to yellow, the Kushabil FC. Oh, 
Oh, that's a good looking ball. Suami, the captain. And Chava with the early touch and plays it to Sinlo. We have a player down. And looks like he looks like he has taken a knock on his face. Well, the player should eventually be okay. The player, Robinson. So a slight bit of delay and the ball can keep rolling. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an Instagram page for this Dimapur District Football League. You can, you can follow the page for more updates. Here's the player that took a knock. Here's 19, Cleven. Good ball to Minglu. Ming Lu with the good turn. That's a good ball to Robinson. Robinson comes forward looking for Gurung. Now Robinson will keep the ball. Still Robinson. Robinson is on the go. And Robinson is brought down. And this will be a yellow card to Sinlo. So a chance for the away team in yellow and black to make something out of this from across the edge of the box as the referee just takes the steps backward to suggest where to construct the wall to block the shot. Here is Cleven. So it's Cleven for Kushiabil. Here is Cleven, but it's not a well, it's not a well taken free kick. And this will be a wasted opportunity. Now it's the free kick 
on the other side of the pitch. So, a lot of muscle power required to break the deadlock. Well, of course, the deadlock is broken, but the scores are level. It is the player that has picked up a card for himself. Sinlo will try to make some thing out of this free kick as he takes a long stride backward. It's a foul, says the referee. Well, the keeper looks to be in some kind of pain and this looks serious. So now then, the play can resume. The keeper is up on his feet. Chaba. It is. <laughs> Funny scenes as the <laughs> player was was protesting but it is his team that has got the free kick now this time will be awang awang is looking to go direct gurung to robinson robinson to his captain that's a good ball Ming Lu is making the chase and that is a good defending as he heads it back to his keeper. Here is Robinson. Robinson looking for Gurung. But it's whisked away. Here is Chaba, the goal scorer. Chaba has two goals to his name. And uh, this time, the fall will be on Chaba. Here's Lima, the captain. Captain plays to Sinlo. Sinlo will pass it back to his captain. And captain is dispossessed. Here is Chumu comes forward again. Still with Chumu, good turn by six. That's a good true ball, but the keeper is there for the yellow to save the day. It's a quick release to the left back. Lima. 
Now to Sinlo. Good ball to Sinlo. And uh, Sinlo will keep the throw in. Sinlo with the long throw in for Chumukidima FC. Minglu. Here is Chaba. Cleared away just in time. Now men in yellow come forward. Still yellow. But the defender is there as Minglu was waiting for the pass, but the pass never arrived. Sinlo. Good touch by Sinlo. It's still Sinlo. Sinlo is dispossessed by the goal scorer Win Min Tang. Minglu. Minglu, good ball to Win Min Tang. Minglu is on the overlap. Was looking for Gurung. Sinlo. And keeper comes forward. Is that the goal? Yes, it is. And Chaba with the hat trick. What a way to go up. 3 2 to none other than Mr. Chaba. Well, now it is back to square one for the man in the home jersey. They have taken the lead once again. The question is, can they hold the lead? Team in yellow comes forward. They have the habit to draw level. Now, can they draw level? That is a good ball to Robinson. Robinson comes forward. That's a good ball, and it is... Creating problems for the defender, but defender on that occasion does his job quite neatly as Robinson walks or rather hops down the pitch for the corner kick. James to his left back, 34. Moved away for his marker. Well, that could have been something. But now it's team in yellow. Robinson. Robinson is looking for the run for number nine. Goal kick, says the referee. Here's Sinlo, referee says play on. Here's Awang. Now the ball still comes forward to Chumu, but is dispossessed by number five.
Gentlemen, can you believe it? It is the number nine, the goal scorer, yet again. Jersey number nine, Win Min Tong from Kushabil FC. Well, well, well. What an intense match. There's no time to blink, ladies and gentlemen. Just keep your phones aside and watch this match live on your on the Hornbull TV app or if you're watching from here. This is the high-end drama, like I said. Chumu, can they hold the lead? Well, you have your answer. We are back on level terms yet again. As the team in yellow come back once again and Minglu. Minglu will keep the ball. Good touch from Minglu. That is a good ball. Here is the goal scorer. And goal scorer still coming back. Six, captain. Captain with the delivery. And James will punch it away. And the captain just not making sure. Lima. Lima can keep the ball, will switch with the position and Gurum comes in to assist with the defense. Robinson, it's still Robinson, it's still Robinson, 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 still Robinson, Minglu with the shot, it's still Minglu, what a good flick, captain, flag is up, even though the flag was down. Would have no problem. Well, well, well. It's the team in yellow now that is putting the pressure on the home team. Well, absolute thriller is the word. Do we have some drama left in this game? I don't know. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is really a thrilling, thrilling match. I think 
one of the best games in this league so far. Six goals already as Chava tracks back to keep the ball in play. Minglu with a good challenge, and it's Gurung. Five. Lima. This time it can be cleared. Sinlo to collect the ball. Here's 34. Akyu. Captain. Nine. Minglu. And dispossessed. Here is six, the captain. It's given away. Now Awang. Flag is up. Sinlo in an offside position. Says the referee. Well, there's a good work by Gurong. Here is Minglu. Minglu with a good true ball. Here is Robinson. Robinson comes forward. It's still Robinson. Robinson dragging the ball and will get a corner. Here's Cliven. That is a good looking ball, it's Minglu. The shot comes and it's a goal for Minglu. Can you believe it, ladies and gentlemen? The Kushia Bill boys are back in action, going by the goal down, and now they have got the lead. And the player that has scored is none other than Mr. Minglu. So now the score line is 4-3 to Kushabil Football Club.
Lima, lima to Sinlo, but Sinlo will somehow get to the ball and uh, it's dispossessed by Tim in yellow. Now can Chumu do something from this box, from this throw-in? The long throw-in comes, it's headed by the man in yellow. And here is Minglu on the chest. Minglu will not get there. And 34. Akiu has just slashed the ball for a corner. Now jersey number 19, the, uh, their midfield, Mr. Cleven is, substitute, is substituted by Wapong, who will play in the midfield position. Here is Sinlo, ladies and gentlemen, the fourth official has, has just signaled us for the remainder of the match, which is three minutes, less than three minutes or so to play in this game. It's the away team that has, has taken the lead, is Awang on the, on the free kick. Here's Awang with the delivery, but it'll be... That is a very good catch from the goalkeeper who has taken a number of knocks, a couple of knocks in this match. Now looking for Minglu. Minglu will keep the ball. It's still Minglu. It's still Minglu. Minglu on the right flank. That's a good run by Minglu. It's still Minglu. Minglu, Minglu will keep the ball. 
and this time it'll be a corner. So a good play by Minglu to waste some precious seconds left in this game. And a little bit of the step overs, the traditional step overs. Captain, they will look to hold the ball in the far post. Minglu. Still Minglu. Minglu will aim for the for the far post. This is a goal kick. Now is this the last chance for Chumu to get something out of this play? As the clock keeps ticking and ticking. Awang. Awang to 18. Here's Awang again. That looked like a good ball. Here is Wavong. And that is the final whistle, ladies and gentlemen. Wow, can you believe it? It's the team that had gone down. And remember, they, they had gone down thrice and eventually fighting and fighting. They had come up as eventual winners. What a match we had. In our hands, we have witnessed seven goals in this DDFL. And it is fair to say this is one of the most classic matches that was played here at the Chumukirima public ground.